Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Taking the helm at Guam Regional Transit Authority is Sel Babauta. Babauta comes in with a wealth of knowledge that he hopes will bring GRTA to what it needs to be. I have an undergraduate degree in um, transportation and traffic management, and I've been in charge of um, some um, vehicle fleet to include buses uh, during my time in the United States Air Force, and I was also the um, transportation operations specialist for the Department of Defense Coast at um, Yongsan Army Base in Korea. Babalta says he would like to see GRTA be the impetus, a big force in Guam's economic growth and improve the quality of life. By having a good uh, transportation system or transit system, we hope to, to allow uh, people to make their appointments on time. Uh, we'll be able to support the less fortunate people of Guam, the Ma'amku and people with disabilities. And we hope to afford uh, our um, workers of Guam uh, a transportation system. He's aware that GRTA has some big challenges ahead. One of those challenges being their depleting fleet of buses and vans. The agency went out and bought buses and started utilizing those buses and vans in 2017. Unfortunately, there wasn't any um, maintenance plan. So as a result of that, <clears throat> many of those buses are, are in uh, repair status, they're out of commission. And we're hoping to bring these buses and vans back to uh, uh, commission so that we'll be able to maximize them and uh, make our um, transit system reliable, safe, and efficient. He's currently working with his staff on formulating a standard operating procedure to make sure non-appropriated funds and bus fares are accounted for. As we reported, it was back in August of last year where auditors found $50,000 in undeposited bus fares, no accounting system of funds, and a lack of basic controls to address risks. We um, are the ones who are um, um, making sure the, that the uh, amount of monies that are being collected are, um, are accurate, and we want to make sure that um, these funds are, are deposited in the bank by GRTA employees and that we'll make sure that receipts from the time we collect the funds to the time funds are deposited in the bank are maintained and, and controlled. His priority list for his first 100 days as executive manager includes utilizing the federal funds that's been allotted to GRTA by the Federal Transit Agency. There's approximately $3.6 million that remain unspent. So we're going to be meeting with GSA to to expedite the procurement of the um, one coal, one stop uh, transportation system. Babalta remains optimistic and determined. I want to assure the people of Guam that um, we are focused, we are going to work hard, and we are going to um, be diligent in our ability to provide um, a good transit system for Guam. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Goncharfres. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.